what is going on guys welcome back to another fan made token battle car video and you guys seem to actually enjoy these a lot and you look forward to them so be sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you guys want to turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos as well so i haven't looked at these the first one i'm seeing right now is this um lr kid boo and looks like this is probably the same one i just i, I want to start looking at some of these because this one looks like the one that we already have the okay so yeah he does doken awaken from he doken awakens from the one we already have okay that makes sense so that's i think it's robert uh agile type plus three key hp attack and defense 90 percent uh majin kamehameha and then planet burst causes um colossal damage to the enemy and lowers defense and then causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense and then you have the uh passive skill uh, plus three key uh, attack 90% and recovers 15% of HP at the start of turn. So really not that bad Let me go ahead and move this mic up back over here. There we go So card art looks pretty decent. I like it. I mean, it's just really high textured I don't know if that's from uh, Dragon Ball fighters Or so I feel like I feel like that's in Dragon Ball fighters too for some reason like just the model look like it But either way the stats look really good as well. You see where he doken awakens from 77 calls obviously because that one that previous one is summonable uh, You can see yeah fighter Z it is that's what I thought uh, right there So yeah, not not bad you can see everything down here details and all that stuff right there. So GG's like it Let's go over and Okay, we've already seen this one. We've, we've already seen that. So let's let's just go down here Now Earth showing, uh, earth shattering power up, Josh. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, 88 cost. You are. Uh. Okay, let's, let's fire. I, I need to check details on everything real quick. Uh, rubber regulation category plus three key HP and attack 150 percent and defense 140 percent. Uh, Fury Cannon and Godly Combo causes immense damage to all enemies. Damn, causes tremendous damage and lowers enemies attack and defense. Um, so, attack and defense 150%. If Transcendent Trio is activated, deals uh, deal super attack with allies. Wait, deals. Oh, deal super attack with allies. Okay, I got I got it now. If uh, Transcendent Trio a category ally is hit. Additional uh, attack 200% uh, once only, but lasts for the rest of the match and counters when it, uh, whenever uh, ally is hit. Okay. Transcendent Trio. I, I, I need to look at that for a sec. Oh, my lord. I shouldn't have looked. That's something for another day. Damn, look at that attack, though. 23,000. HP is almost 16,000. Defense is almost freaking 18,000. Man. Uh, exclusive to card making instant. Who make this again? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, thumb is by him. Everything else is by him. I, I kind of like it because it has my name in it. Uh, if you went in my profile, you know that my real name is his name's just to see. I like it. I, I like it already. I likes it. Um, darkness. Uh, oh, okay. This is, um, this is another content creator. If well, another um, car creator. He's got his name in it, though. I like it. Look, it looks like he's wearing some damn um, suit pants or something. Like this man just got out of a business meeting and was like, "I'm ready to whoop ass." So, realm of regulation category plus three key HP attack 150 percent defense 140 percent causes. Um, supreme damage to all enemies causes immense damage and lowers a enemies attack and defense um, passive skill attack and defense 90 percent changes agl key spears to str key spears um, attack 17 percent per str key spear obtained if transcendent trio and warrior of warriors of universe universes six are active deal crit hits against warriors from other universes okay a lot of this transcendent trio i'm seeing realm of regulation okay uh, wow okay this is pretty much almost about the same and that's that's exclusive to him i guess this is their own cards if i'm not mistaken 
Okay. I like it though. So we have another uh, core. So uh, okay, so I guess I guess this one is like all the uh, content creators are making their own, ex you know, exclusive cards. So I, I kind of like that. Uh, Gohan down here with um, three super attacks over here. Uh, Gohan with a scouter too. That's that's the that's the thing. Gohan with a scouter. I like it though. So. I guess realm regulation plus three key HP attack and defense 145 percent. Okay, so he just put 145 percent even. Uh, Inferno Blitz sounds um, devastating. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, devastatingly raises attack by 100 percent, causes miss damage and seals enemy super attacks. Uh, chance to double chance to double damage with fierce battle is active. Okay, I'm gonna have to go down there and look at how much that percentage is of of damaging like. Of doing double damage like what's the percentage on that of happening causes immense damage lowers any enemies attack and defense by 88% and shatters their guard enemies guard for two turns okay devastatingly raises attack for oh by 100% causes immense damage and devastatingly lowers enemies attack and defense by 100% for three turns high chance of a crit when fierce battle oh well fierce battle and transcendent trio are activated okay wow that's um <laughs> I know I'm giving him uh, a lot of additionals. So his passive, attacking defense 55% at start of turn, change AGO key spirits to physical to um, STR. I, I don't know why I forgot to read there. I, I literally just forgot how to read for a second. Wow. And change tech to rainbow. So, wow, that is a lot of manipulation going on. Wow. And attack 25% per STR uh, key spear obtained damage received mi uh, minus 15% with each attack up to okay so up to 60 so basically four times um, counters with tremendous power high chance of a crit hit when transcendent trio is active and steadily causes an uh, increasing damage to enemy for four turns uh, repeats after three turns of recharge. Wow. Okay, that, that card is doing a lot of stuff. And in fashion, the attack is way higher. And yeah, that's those stats looking crazy. So, okay, so uh, yeah, this is what everything is right here. Uh, damage reduction 15% of 60, all that stuff. You see everything down here. Okay. That's, that's pretty dope. I like it. So now we have a uh, Super Saiyan Kaioken. So this is pretty much like the same one of the physical that we already have. Yeah, this is pretty much like the physical one that we already have, except I think his hands are out now. So that's kind of cool. Uh, all types, plus two key HP attack and defense, uh, 30%. Uh, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises um, attack for six turns. A passive attack 100% at the start of turn high chance of plus three key and defense 100% uh, you see what he's in right now ultimate form and stuff those I'm not gonna lie them stats is actually pretty damn good too Doken awakens from uh, okay that guy's not not there and then you see key multiplier everything else right here raises attack for six turns is a 50% boost so you can see that right there it's actually um pretty good okay so we got a uh, evolved Vegeta over here uh, low-key not gonna lie uh, if that was a like farmable card like if this was farmable card art that would actually be kind of fire if this if this was like a farmable uh, evolved Vegeta that would be would be Liddy. Uh let's see here so he has uh, yeah okay he has his Oh, so he, he got he has the final explosion, uh, a twenty five percent chance of a final explosion to SA ten. All right, so it causes immense damage, and to the enemy, well, basically causes immense damage and stuns the enemy, and then causes hyper mass damage and stuns all enemies. Okay, so attack one hundred percent at the start of turn, uh, launch an additional super attack, well, launch an additional attack which has a chance of becoming a super attack. Attack 130% when HP is 50 well 50% or below. High chance of guard high chance of guard against all enemy or well, all attacks. 
when both warrior gods and tournament of power are active okay okay that's that's uh again i would like for this card to be farmable but not the passive in it oh my god if he was passive then he would be so good this, this card would literally be so damn good you can see pure saying category realm of gods universe uh survival saga and all this boy this man would be so good oh we don't even have stats for him oh there ain't even no stats oh yeah he's probably really 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 good r.i.p core yeah he's probably really damn good okay oh boo we got super boo over here. it's been a minute since i think we've seen a super boo uh super saiyan core kind of like this uh realm of regulation uh plus four key attack hp attack and defense 150 percent okay raises attack for by 55 percent uh 75 percent if fierce battle is active uh 120 percent if both fierce battle and realm regulation are active and then it causes hyper mass damage and shatters enemies guards for the remainder of the fight okay so that's pretty much like this it ain't going on for long if, if you shatter the enemy's guard for the remainder of the fight believe me that that ain't going long for long um so all non-regulation enemies uh, attack and defense minus 100 percent recovers 100 percent of damage dealt as health damn okay that's really good that's really 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 good those stats are really 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 good too wow uh cake boo make i see that uh require all hell cake boo wow yeah that's that's something there all right let's keep it going so we got another uh angel vegeta super saiyan 2 angel vegeta over here um let me see here uh, super saiyan 2 category um plus one key hp attack and defense uh, 50 percent and all or all uh, types attack um, plus forty percent causes supreme damage and raises defense by for sixty percent or well, thirty percent for six turns. Okay, I kind of like that. The stats look pretty decent as well. Uh, passive is attack and defense twenty five percent at the start of turn, an additional uh, twenty uh, attack and defense uh, seventy five percent when HP is fifty percent or below. So pretty much he'll be getting a hundred if it's um if it's under fifty percent. So it's not it's not too bad. It's, it's a it's a decent um one as well. Any anytime I think I see the red, that means that that's not there for some reason. I think. Yeah. Uh, keep okay. You see, I like that. And then there's a render down there. So not bad. I actually like it. I actually like it. Uh. Okay, so there's another Super Saiyan 2 uh, Vegeta. Oh, I think it's for the competition right here on the side. I think that's what that is for. Um, ooh, I like that Vegeta, though. Not gonna lie, I do. Um, all types plus 2 key HP. Well, attack and defense 60%. Causes supreme damage to the enemy. Attack and defense 100%. Where HP is 50% or below. Uh, you can see the categories and links over here. Max stats aren't that bad at all. Defense is kind of lacking, so I'm guessing, yeah, it is for that. They're all, they're all going for this. So it's, so it is for that competition right there. Uh, you can see everything down here in the details. I think I guess he took the, the PNG off the card or so. So not bad. Oh, Charlotte, and this is Jay Charlotte. How, what are we at right now? Uh, 14 minutes okay we're making we're making decent time we're making decent time uh super saiyan Korra again and you have this one okay i, I kind of actually like that one uh dragon ball uh, dragon ball legends that's right i can't remember when that game come, actually comes out again i gotta remember uh pure saiyan category plus three key hp attack and defense 110 percent causes supreme damage to the enemy and devastatingly raises attack by 75 percent for three turns and then um Attack for force passive attack 100% at start of turn uh, and attack and defense 55% when facing uh, an extreme class enemy. A uh, rare 15% uh, chance for a crit hit. Uh, 10 plus 10% 10 per link skill active. Ooh, so he's gonna be critting a lot. 
a lot. Uh, no, no stats in the dude system, but I would say it's pretty decent. Not gonna lie, and this is how you require from the Dragon Ball Legends uh, crossover summon. Not bad though, like it. Oh shit! Uh, so we have a um, Ultra Instinct Goku up here. Who is this? Oh, Toasties. Uh, okay, makes sense. It does look good, but a lot of these other ones look good too. So, damn. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so universe survival, survival saga uh, category plus three key HP attack and defense seventy percent um, raises attack and causes supreme damage. His passive uh, attack one hundred percent at the start of turn. Uh, universe saga universe survival saga um, plus three key HP. Well, attack and defense thirty uh, percent when the conditions are met. Awaken. So he transforms. Okay, so now I know, and I won't just skim over everything else. Uh, pure saying all the realm of guys uh, those max stats aren't you know that bad or broken or anything like that so this is so he doken awakens from uh the one that we already have in the game do you know how happy everyone would be literally if that guy did literally doken awaken into into him and transforms as well i think people would literally shit their pants there's, there's people out there that's got him 100 percent too oh so uh let me look at the passive for a second um, attack 120 percent at the start of turn. I think what did he get 100 percent up here? Yeah. So he gets plus 20 percent more. Stays the same. High chance to uh, dodge enemies' attacks. He still causes supreme damage though. Uh, raises attack and causes supreme damage. Uh, raises attack and defense now, but still causes supreme damage. So they're not giving him an immense or anything like that. Let's look at the card art. I'm not gonna lie, the card art looked pretty damn fire. That's, that's I, that looks fire. This is, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks fire. Uh, damn. Uh, we may have the winner for the thumbnail. We may have the winner for the thumbnail. So we have a, a Super Saiyan Goku. Huh. Okay. So, I, I kind of like this. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like that card art. I, I really do. Uh, Super Saiyan Core. Pure Saiyan Battle of God Saga. Uh, category plus two key HP attack and defense 85%. Uh, raises attack and causes immense damage to the enemy. Uh, attack and defense 90%. Survive KO attacks uh, at 10% HP. When HP is below, is 50% or below, unleash a Super Saiyan God transformation after three turns. So, another transformation card. Uh, under man, you got yo, you got give me them stats. You got give me them stats. Doken awakens from uh, this guy. Okay, so that's probably like the, the card after this one. And oh, oh, okay. Let me let me uh, read super attack and all this stuff first before I get into that because that look like that look like that's some fire. Uh, that look like that is some fire. Um, raises attack and defense and causes immense damage to enemy uh, seals enemies super attack when uh, adjacent peers Saiyan category allies key meter is 10 or more uh, attack and defense 120% recovers 5% HP at the start of turn attack 200% when HP is 20% or below uh, you can see the links everything like I said I need I need that um I need to max stats to know how hard this man is going to be hitting. You can see everything. I guess this is a collaboration right here. Yeah. With Immortal Dracon. Or Dracon. Okay, that's some fire too. I'm not going to lie. That's that's some fire too. Low, not, like, no pun intended, but that that is some fire too. Damn it. Now I don't know which one I want for the thumbnail. Now I don't know. Damn it, that look good. They both look good, man. They both look real good. You guys can let me know in the comment section below though, which one you like so far the most out of all the cards you've seen so far. I think we're probably gonna do maybe like one more or so. Okay, so we got another Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan uh, Vegito. Uh, okay, go to hell. I kind of like that render, I'm not gonna lie. I can't remember what that's from, but I can't. I, I low key like it. Is he? Is, is that a Halo? Is he dead? I don't think so. I didn't think it read. No, 
I don't know why. It looks like a halo above his... It, like he's dead, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Vegito wasn't... I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. Okay, so uh, I don't know why he has a he has a halo though. Let me look at the categories. No, it's weird. So super type plus three key HP attack, uh, 150 percent and defense 180 uh, percent when team includes all five super uh, types, or uh, super types plus three key HP attack and defense 110 percent uh, when enemy includes five uh, super allies with the same type interesting okay so it causes supreme damage uh to i'll uh, call causes supreme damage and greatly raises attack so it's passive i'm surprised i didn't give him immense damage or anything so um let's see what this passive is so a great chance to launch up to two additional attacks each of which have a chance to become a super attack okay that, that makes more sense just giving him supreme um okay so there's a lot here so Attack 30% to all enemy to all allies per AGL unit currently in your team. Okay, so that would be I think I'm I'm guessing that would be 90. Yeah, that would that would be 90 because you could have obviously two Vegitos and then one AGL unit if you're going for the top leader skill. That would that, that should be 90. Defense, um, 30%, uh, plus 30% for all STR on your team currently. And then all allies, 25% crit per tech. And then plus two key to all allies per intelligence. And all allies increase stun chance by 15% per physical. These are all super, by the way. So, okay. That's, that's kind of fire. Those stats look real good, too. Uh, no LR, but it's damn close to it. Not gonna lie. Uh, as you can, okay, so it does tell you down here uh, what what it would be. So total attack, crit chance, you know, and everything right down here. So not bad. That's that's actually that's actually not bad. I like that. I like that. Oh, this is hand drawn. Boy, if this is hand boy, if this is hand draw, that Lord have mercy. That's that's actually really damn good. Uh, that's all I gotta say. But I think that was it right there. Yeah. But we're we're already close, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and end it off right here and, be, and see this one. Matter of fact, let me just let me just check really quick. Because for some reason. Ooh. Okay, I kind of like the angel. I kind of like those uh, dark angel wings in the back, and then the feathers, the rose feathers in the back too. Right, well, in front, right here. I kind of like that low key. Extreme class. Oh, okay. So this is pretty much. Is this from Core? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is. I, I can get. Yeah. This is the same as the other one, except for super class enemies uh, minus thirty five percent causes. He causes immense damage to the enemy um, and enemy extreme class allies attack. 60% for three turns and stuff like that, but he's pretty much kind of the same as the uh, Vegito. So, not 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 mad at it. The stats look real good too. So yeah, you can come down here and see everything else that's going along with the details and stuff. So I, that's what I was thinking. He's pretty much about the same. Okay. Well, that's gonna be it, guys. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications where you get notified when we go live and put up more videos. You guys can let me know in the comment section below which one of these cars was your favorite. Man, I think I got, I for real got a tie with that Ultra Instinct uh, Master Goku and that Super Saiyan Guy Goku. I'm not gonna lie, both of them were pretty damn fire. Um, seriously, both of those were were pretty damn fire. But you guys can let me know in the comment section below what's yours is. But I'm out, guys. Peace.